All right, so I'm trying to watch the dogs while my husband takes a shower and do this at the same time. So we'll see how this goes. You may hear grunting and groaning on the floor from a dog who wants to be played with. All right, so I, um, while the camera was doing its thing, I ended up cutting up one of the pages and salvaging. You know, I like that little, that little S that says Santa Claus, that little metal dangle. That was really cute. And some of these were on the back side. Oh, I like those trees. Oh, okay. So I could use either side of this one because I, I like the trees on the back. They're very cute. Then I have this, I believe. I won't use the back side of that. I want the trees from this. And then I saved this one that said Merry Christmas. All right, so then there's this page right here. There was another page that this opened into that had one Santa Claus on one side, one Santa Claus on the other. But I'm looking at the pages here and he is too large for my signature. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments. And I think what I might do is I might trim around here. Just kind of trim. Now this is on really thick paper. Um, I might trim around the decorative edges that were on here. And she, the person who had this stuff before me, had um, torn the paper. And I, I love that torn look, but the only problem is I can't get it into my signature. I should have made larger signatures. What was I thinking? Oh, yeah. So it would match all the other books I've done in the past. That's what I was thinking. All right. So I'm just going to kind of go around these edges a little bit and try to clip off some excess. I'll do, I do like the torn edge look. And there's little snowflakes on here, too, that I like. And I don't really want to cut them off, but in order to get this on the page, I have to do this. Voila, he fits. Okay, so now I'm going to do another minor operation, and I'm going to peel all this off because it's just too stinking thick. This is better. You can see where she attached it to some brown paper and then covered up with the red. So this is thinner than it was, although I would like it much thinner. Whoop, I don't want to rip up the Santa Claus stuff. Oh, wait, look. Here we go. That's the. This is just a simple way to keep a lot of bulk out of your books if you want them to close. Oh, there's a whiny dog. Um, is to peel off... to peel off layers as best you can. And um, that will help to lessen some of the bulk. I can feel it's nice and slick and shiny where it might have been part of a card. <laughs> Sorry about the dog, guys. He's under my chair, laying down, trying to go to sleep and whining the whole time. <laughs> he's only a year and a half old. Yeah, he's a year and a half old. He's just a young boy. Okay, so, oh my goodness, this is a mess. All right, so I got that done. So this possibly will go here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper clip, and I'm going to clip it on here because I'm not going to commit to anything right now because I don't know if I will want to leave it there, but I'm going to paper clip it on here so I know it fits on the page. I will have to make some kind of color adjustments around the edges. I really, I really like that. And this, I've intended, <laughs> I've intended for right here. I think this would go really well here. It's a little bit, a little bit tall here, but I'll cut it off the bottom. And then I will need to ink around the edges. I thought that would make a nice little flip out. So let me shave a little off the bottom. Oh, let's see, what am I going to use? I guess I use this because my guillotine cutter is. Moo puppy. My guillotine cover's got, cutter's got so much stuff piled up in front of it, I can't reach it right now. <laughs> right, so I'm going to try to line this up. 
and get this as straight as I can. Let's see, let's put these dots here and that dot there and hope that it's straight. And if it isn't, I guess that's just the way life goes, right? Okay. This one thick on the back too. Oh, it absolutely is. All right, let me take off some of this stuff off the back. I don't know if I can get my fingernails in there. I don't have my very long fingernails. Here we go. I don't want to destroy the thing in the front, but I also want to take the back off. I might could salvage this music stuff. All right, let's see. It's a little bit. I might have to ink around the edge, but I think this will be perfect here. So again with the paper clip, so I don't want to commit yet. That will go there. I don't want to put all her stuff in my book, but I want to put some Christmas cards that I get from friends and family in here if I ever manage to send any out for them to send back. Um, so there's that Santa Claus. I still want to use this Santa Claus. I want all this extra stuff on here. Yeah. So I'm going to tear that apart. And as much as I hate to do, I don't know if I can get that off of it. Well, okay. Oh, well, that peeled off nicely, except for that one spot. And there, it's really sticky. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, doggone it. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this now that I've ruined it and it's got tape all along the side here so if you try to peel it off his face is going with it well it was a thought right and the rest is red what was on the other side ooh this okay I like these pop-up stars so I'll peel these off but I don't want the pop-ups on them because this is already popped up oh another pop-up Okay, so I'll have to fix these later. Um, what else do I like on this page? I do like these things, but by the time I peel it off, it might have all that paper sticking to it. Let's see if we can get these off. I think these were stickers. Mm. All right, that's going to take a little finagling to get all that mess off of there. I'll do that off camera. What's that one? And let's do this one too while we're at it. Let's see if we can't save this one and use it somewhere else. Um, I'm not a glitter person, so none of the rest of this really appeals to me, but let me set it aside. You know, it's one of those things that I might come back to it later. So I gotta take care of these. I don't know what to do with this thing. I have a little pile of ephemera-ish type stuff in a pile. I gotta clean these up. I don't know what to do about the Santa Claus. I hate to cut that much of his face off, but I think I'm gonna have to if I want to use him. He might have to be a tip out, huh? Alright. Oh, there's paper underneath here, so let's see if we can't get that off of there. Um, okay, well that went nicely, considering I ripped its face off. Oh, and tore it. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. He might have to be a tip something. Let's see what we can do with him. I'm going to get rid of these. Can I get that peel out? No, let's stay. Let's just cut them off. You know, it might help to detract from half his face being ripped off if I sewed on it. No, let's just leave him the way he is. All right, so there's that. He does not need to be in the same place as the other Santa. Maybe 
you tip in. Yeah, because that end right there is messed up. So I could put something else there. I don't know. I'm not crazy about these sparkly things here. Um, how do I fix him? All right, I'm going to set him aside and maybe we'll work on a fix when I'm not on the camera because this will take entirely too long. Okay, I think that's it for me for today. Um, actually, no, I just started. <clears throat> what am I doing? Okay, so let's see what we got here. What else can I cannibalize and use? All right, so... 2015, that's cute right there at the bottom. Um, this is a bucket. All right, hang on a second. All right, so um, I've taken and put a pile of all the things that I'm going to use in here somewhere, some way or another. And I'm working on making a page with this one. There's those little curly cues. Here's these plastic doodads. I don't know what to do with those, but we'll figure it out. So what I'm thinking is I would like to cover. Now, there was that snap with that safety pen in there. I think what I'm going to do is take this and cover the whole page here. I think if I can if I can get it to come out right glue this on put this up here and then I can use the words um, yes Virginia there is a Santa or put it this way more like this except for this is too big for here I want to try to use this lovely paper and I just am not quite sure how to make this all work Oh, uh, let's see. If I put it up here, up higher, nope, this stuff will still be there. I'm peeling this stuff off so I can use this beautiful paper. It's glued on here. I mean, it's taped on here, and I can get some of it off. What I want is this part, the background, and this. And I'm trying to figure out a way to get it all on that page. And I don't know. And I want to use this, but now I'm having to tear it up because I want to do that blue page there. Well, that's not going to go well. Okay. So there. Just rip the band-aid off. Okay. So I, ha I have to make the, the page has to be here. And then I think... I might be able to do it this way. Huh, uh huh. All right, first let's do straight edge down this way and make this straight. I'm not gonna do that with a ruler. I'll do this. Let me just kind of straighten this out here a little bit. There we go. Take the edge off of that. Man, my trash can's getting full. Um, I think if I could put this here, that is going to work. Except for it won't work if it's upside down. All right, I could glue this on here, wait for it to dry, and then cut around it. Use those words, and I can use this little picture. I hated to waste this. This was just flipping adorable. Um, you know what? Why wait for it to dry? Let's just cut it now. So let's take the straight edge. And go across. just enough room that I still have the words over here in the corner.
think I cut a little bit of my Santa Claus. Uh -oh. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. I can glue this on here. And then any more trimming I can do later. Um, yeah, I think that's going to work. It'll still close. I'll put that there. Then I will put this here because I needed, you know, a little bit of background. And then I can use these words. On here. Or I could do this at the bottom and put the words here at the top. So either way, this is going on here. So let's just do it. Okay. And I did rip backing off of here to make it skinnier so that it will fit without being too bulky because there may be other bulky things that I want to put in here, but anything I can make flat, I'm going to try to do that just in, you know, just in case there's something in the future that's bulky. All right, let's see if we can get this on here. Now we got it right side up. Yep. Okay. Just need to make sure it hits the corners. And... Yep, doesn't, stay, doesn't hang out anywhere. I could tilt it, but then I'd have to slice some of it off, and I really don't want to slice any of this picture off. But if you tilt it, it would give it a little more interest than just straight. So, I might cut around her little... Yep, okay. So I'm going to cut around her little sparkles her dreamy candy stuff and that's a thick I'm sorry okay my husband is sorting boxes right now in the garage to go out to burn some boxes and the dog doesn't like Amazon boxes and he barks at them like they're gonna get us so you're here, you're gonna, you may hear him barking in the background in the living room. Um, I had to make some trim, trim up here a little bit, so if I tilted it, it wouldn't hang off the edge of the card. Um, I don't know, do I want to do it this way? And then just put the words here. Uh, indecisiveness, that's just wrong. I'm not really sure. I don't know. But I think it needs to be at the bottom. I could make it a pocket. <gasps> That's it. Voila. It is now a pocket. Put this down here on the edges. It'll have to be something small in there. this down here. And I might have to make this a tag that will go in there. How's that? <gasps> Fabulous! I'll be right back. Okay, I can't make up my mind, so I've looked at this tag, and I can't, I want to put these words in the middle of the tag, and if I do that, I'm going to lose all this lovely paper. So, I tried peeling this up, and all it's going to do is leave crud behind. And there's nothing on the back, so I can't flip it over and use it. So, I'm going to put the tag in here to remind myself this is a pocket, and I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to slip this in here as a possibility of using that in the pocket for the tag. I do have this paper here, but I mainly want to use this stuff. So I, um, I don't want to tear that up. I was going to try to look for something I could use as a background, 
on the tag and then cut these words out and put it on there, but that would look kind of weird, so I'm just going to leave it like this. So we still have the house, the Santa clipped on, because I can't make up my mind. Nothing here. This, and then I put this on one side, and while the camera was reloading, I um, saved the words for Silent Night, and this was on the bottom of something else, so I'm going to glue this on here, and then I'm going to glue this on the bottom. So I wanted to paper clip that on there to remind myself. And then this guy's going on here. I've decided he's staying. And then this will be on here like this. And then the back is the snowman. And look, it's already starting to get fat. And I'm just getting started. So there's that so far. And I may do some of this stuff off camera because it's really not that exciting for you guys to sit and watch me do this, is it? <laughs> All right, what's next? I need something else. Let's see, let's take a look at this. This is too big. I cannot put this in there unless I cut off this stuff. And then what would be the point, right? So let me set this aside. I'll figure something else out. I do like these. I just have to figure out how to use them in the book. Um, I think, hmm, hang on a second, too much going on while I'm recording. All right, so, this is too tall for this and not quite wide enough, so... If I pull this off, I'm going to destroy them. So the only thing that I can think of is to take off this back, which is where the back part is glued onto, the lame. Whoops. I did not want to do that. I was thinking I might be able to take this background and just put these on here like this without ripping it to shreds. I don't know if I can. I can if I don't get careless. It can be a whole page by itself with that on there. Nope, it can't because this is too big, too wide. So. I might have to take these off and put them down on other Christmas paper. There we go, there's that. I really like these things and I don't want to ruin them, but trying to get them off of here, I just might end up doing that. Okay, well, if I want these, I'm going to have to rip them up. I'd like to get all three of them on one page together. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Alright, so what I have to do is I have to peel this off. Ugh. Ugh. I think she's used double stick tape so that... And there we go. There's that one. Ugh. I hate messing with other people's art. Because I feel like I'm disrespecting their creativity, you know? eggs in one basket so I might need to start putting stuff in the other signature. Let me see what I got in here. 
have a flat space in here, I could put one, I could put two of these in here. And I'd rather do that than totally lose them all together. And then this one could go somewhere else. I don't want to lose these because I think these are just absolutely gorgeous. Let's see, do I want to put that one there or this one here? No, the gold and the green. Okay, so I need to find a nice Christmas paper background for these. If I put them on this, you won't be able to see them. So that's out. I've totally destroyed this, so that's out too. All right, so these guys are going together. And this one will be saved in the pile for future. I've ruined this, so I cannot use this. Might as well throw that away. All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff that I chucked over to the side. I wonder if I can use any of this for background paper. No. I could cut these off and use these for a page. Uh, no. No. That's too busy for those beautiful ornaments. There's really not that, nothing there. Uh, no. Mm, no. No, but these are cute postcards. No. Mm, no. I don't get rid of them. If I don't like them, I don't get rid of them because I might still be able to use them as a background for something. No, no, and no. Although these trees are beautiful. Okay. Well, we'll set these aside in hopes that we can use them later. This could be the first page of the signature where I do these. That would make a nice, a nice flip over from, from here to there. Okay, so I need background paper. What am I gonna use? <gasps> oh my gosh, I might have to go look for paper. Tisk tisk. All right, let me see what's under all these piles. Oh, these are all bits and pieces of things that I know I'm not gonna be able to salvage anything off of them. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe. It has possibilities, but it's still too thick. Oh, look at that. Except for I ripped the corner off. Phooey. Well, that's just not right. And I can't glue it on because I just don't think that's going to look very good. You take this and then you glue the corner on. Oh, look, I, I messed you up right here, but I'm going to glue you on anyway. It's not like the snowman where I can cover it up. But you know what? I have die cuts. What am I thinking? Okay. These guys will be the first page of the second signature. Let me go check out my die cuts. Squirrel, I went to look at die cuts and ended up looking for tissue paper for backgrounds from last year that got stamped and saved from um, stamps that I carved. So these are little Christmas, different uh, style Christmas trees that might be a good background for, for a page. And here are some Santa Clauses. Wow, that red really did turn funky. Oh, well, no, maybe the backside's better. There's those. Looks better on camera than it does in person. 
Uh, what else? Oh, this guy. I have him in red and green. He might be a good one. And then I have the light bulbs. So that's a source that I could use. I need to put these in my basket, fold them up, and then when I need them, I have them. Because I can't take all this stuff sitting on my desk. I have a cat who likes to um, express his displeasure with me all over my stuff. So I can't um, leave too much sitting out for fear that that displeasure will show up tomorrow. So there's that. And I still haven't looked at the dies. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure, but I think this one might cover, you know, I'll do some kind of a red cardstock. And then I could do this kind of off the edges like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think, will this fit in? Oh, hello, honey. Okay, we are recycling. Let me go cut. All right, I know so many of you have scan and cuts and all those fancy cutting machines, but I have one and I've barely unpacked it and still haven't learned how to use it, so I'm still going to just use what I have because this is about as easy as it gets. One plate, two plate, three, four plate, five plate. We get a Christmas tree. All right, I can put this on here. I do it forward and backwards just to be sure. like great or what. It's more fat on one side than it is on the other, but I think it's going to work. So we'll put this here and put the string up and then we'll put, nope, we won't. We'll put this one here and then this one here on this page. And I might just I, I might, oh, I clipped off the edge there, so we're going to bring that down to cover that up. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much of that really goes on that nobody shows you on camera. All right, so we have this and this. And it is rather understated, but I think the focal point should be the ornaments themselves. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue it. Oh my God, I can't believe I made a commitment. Uh, please don't faint. All right. We're going to glob this up with glue. And, you know, for some of you, my taste might be a little subdued, but that's okay. I'm good with it. Let's put this in the middle so that we can fool around with where we put the ornaments. Um, there's that. And then we have this that we can cover up where I accidentally got carried away there. We'll put that there. Just like the way she did it. Except I'm going to cut mine off. I'm going to glue them and I'm going to cut them off. Where's the other one? Here it is. And then this one will be a little off center also, but I need to make it go Mm. There we go. How's that? I think I like that. But now I have to figure out. Maybe this one needs to go up here. And this one needs to go down here. No, because then you see the red sticking out. So I guess we go back to this. And there won't be a lot of gold lame cord. We'll do this. 
And yep, you're going to see the little tinge of red down there at the bottom, but I don't suppose it really matters. How's that? Very understated. I'm wondering if I should ink around the edges. God, I hate to ink it and then decide I don't like it. Mm, no. Okay, so I'm going to glue these on here. I think this lady whose stuff I am cannibalizing did a lovely job on her stuff. I mean, there were lots of good components in it. Not all my taste, but I can make it be that way. I mean, I can rearrange things and do things that are kind of in my, that are kind of my taste. Let's put this here, let that dry. And then we'll do this one. This one has a lot of stuff on the back. Okay, so we're going to put this one up here because he needs to be up a little higher. So there's that one. I think I'm going to have to set something heavy on them to make sure that they really s sit down on there. Then I'm going to try to figure out how to keep this straight. These are so cute. Oh. Did one of these beads fall off? Oh, yep, it did. Okay, so she had two beads on here. So let me put this bead back on here. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll put the bead on. Okay, I'm all thumbs today. I don't know where it went. I heard it. Roll away. Run away, little gold bead. Run away. And it did. Well, phooey. I guess now we're down to one bead each. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I need a toothpick. Yeah, let me, I, let me go get a toothpick, and I'm going to take a toothpick and put a little glue on the toothpick and run it up this way so that it's straight, and then I will chop it off at the top. And I don't see any... Oh, there's two beads on this one. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll find the other bead. Let me clean the desk off. Okay, I found the second gold bead. So now we're back to trying to get it through there. This is like threading a needle. That's just not going to happen. Mm -mm. Okay, there's one. And then let me fix this one. Actually, that's not going to work because that's glued up so high, the bead is not going to make it on there. So I guess we can take that off of there. And now I'm done with this one, so let me cut. Scissors, scissors, scissors. <laughs> scissors. Scissors, there we go. There's that. I may, may save that. And then I still have to go get a toothpick and glue so I can do this. <gasps> Maybe I could put a bow there. I hate to get rid of this stuff. You know? I mean, it's cute. All right. There's a little bow. Uh, let's make this one a little bit bigger on this side. Ooh, ah. I wish I could put that there at the top. Uh, the bow might have to work on this one somewhere else. Alright, let's set that aside. 
but I still need to find glue to do this one. I should have made this one a little bit lower. Too late now. <laughs> okay, now to go find a toothpick.